Okay, so finishing off this mission, um, in my hand I have Gijim, Hana, Lorelai, Goen, uh, Sheena, and Yamku. So I'll start with my leader, Gijim. He doesn't have that much leadership. So. Hana. I should be able to send out my whole hand. Lorelai. Luen. Okay, we can do it. Sheena. What? Um, they were holding on to some military strength. Well, with no choice, we have to just keep going. And Yamku. Hmm, what the? It seems they still had reserves. Okay, so we kind of got decimated there. <laughs> um, damn it. Such strength. Um, that they'd hide such a large force. I suppose that's strategy for you. Um, we were completely tricked. It's tough, but with the enemy's strength being what it is, we won't. It doesn't look like we can clear this mission. So temporarily, we should retreat and regroup. Okay, this time we'll clear this mission. Um, okay, begin the counterattack. So I have Gilbert, uh, Joey, Tsai, Camus, Mike Clutter, and Kiba. Uh, so Kiba is a leader, so I'll send him first. Hmm? Hang on a second. Gilbert has the betrayal marker on him. Um, so that's the first symbol in his description, it's Uda of Uragiru, which is to betray. Um, usually, characters that are already out in the field will be displayed as unique and cannot be deployed. But, actually, um, characters that have the betrayal marker can be turned around. Um, that is, it doesn't matter if the same character is already out in the field, you can still deploy them. Um, when this happens, the character that was originally there becomes discarded. If you use this well, you can really turn things around. However, you can't use a betrayal card as an ally, so keep that in mind. Betrayal cards are anti-unique. Um, and so are displayed as anti. So if we look at Gilbert, he has um, anti written on him. Um, since he's already out, we should be able to turn him to our side. Um, their, their military strength is less than 1,500, so Raud um, was discarded. And then we'll use Kamu and unite with Mikotov. Um, Tsai and Joey last. Okay, that went a little bit better this time. We push back the enemy forces. Um, okay, so we have to discard the number of characters equal to the enemy's military strength. And then Kiba's um, military strength can cap the enemy's military strength at 2000. 
um, and then normally the characters you have to discard would be highlighted in black, but because their military strength is zero, you don't have to discard anyone. So is this okay? Yes. Mission clear. And then I have to station someone with the mission, I'll leave Tsai. And yay, we win! Um, and Flick says, uh, VP got to 3 or above, so victory is ours. Have you understood how military strength battles work? And then you say, I understand, or one more time. And we got a Bolgan card, which is not that great. <laughs> hey, can I say something? Um, afterwards I'm going to the city hall, so I want you to come with me. There's someone I want you to meet. So once you're ready, then come and tell me. So you can talk to Victor or leave the bar. Oh, so you're done with your errands? Let's go then. Oh, if it isn't Victor. Oh, hey, Mr. God. Um, <laughs> is... Annabelle in. Uh, yes, she should be in the office. Uh, is she the same as always? Yes. Um, lately, she doesn't rest at all, like she hasn't taken any time off. She was always like that. Her sense of responsibility is too strong, and she just can't cut corners. Just tell them to make up their minds. Those guys from Tinto are always like that. They just trick us with words or cover up with lip service and then don't do anything. Uh, y yes, Lady Annabelle, truly a wonderful decision. Um, this is no time for sucking up, just go. Men whose mouths move more than their legs um, don't make it in this world. Uh, y yes. <sighs> oh, so you've come, Victor. Uh, seems like you're busy as always. I suppose. But more importantly, um, wasn't your fort, uh, like, defeated? <laughs> it was completely, um, like, a complete shame, like, I have no honour. Um, but this Luca, for him to um, completely disregard the ceasefire agreement, um, he is a wolf that is starved of the smell of blood and flames. We won't be able to, um, like, knock him down in any normal way. By the way, um, did you have any, um, reason for coming to see me today? brought children with you, not the men with bandanas that you always usually do. Yes, um, this is Dio, and this um, tomboy over here is Nanami. That's right, um, Nanami. Um, you wouldn't be able to take them in, would you? Um, for a while, we let them stay with us, but at any point, war could break out, and hmm, that's right. You can't be taking children into battle, but Dio and Nanami. Dio, the father who looked after you, his name was Genkaku, wasn't it? Hmm? Eh? Why? Why? Why do you know about Grandpa Genkaku? Uh, I'd heard that Master Genkaku had taken 
to children as adopted children. And, the, and their names were Ryo and Nanami. Master Genkaku? No, it couldn't be that. Victor, um, I'll tell them someday. But until then, um, Ryo Nanami is Master Genkaku well? Uh, Grandpa Genkaku passed away the year before last. I see. So it's, in the end, we couldn't atone for our sins, it seems. Um, in atone for sins? Or is Grandpa famous? <laughs> <laughs>